Well, these gel blocks are pretty well shot up. I need to remold them. So I'm out here and I've got everything. I'm going to try to satisfy a viewer request. Um, somebody wanted to see the effects on the gel after a bullet penetrates heavy steel. So I'm going to use the Mosin Nagant and some of this Bulgarian steel core, 7.62 by 54. And I'm going to try to put some to the half inch plate and have it go into the gel blocks. Alright, we had a couple of things happen. Our steel core came through the quarter inch plate and it hit our gel right here. Made a nice, really disgusting mess. Traveled through, just made a terrible mess inside of the gel and came out right here and proceeded into the berm somewhere. I also shot into the half inch and it took a couple tries to get through. Um, you can see right here it bubbled out and then here it finally came through, but it didn't hit the gel even though the gel was extended way out here. It appears that the fragment, which I found on the ground just a few feet away, um, must have taken a turn and gone down. Maybe we'll see different when we look at the high speed footage, but as you can see, this bubble here looks a lot like that bubble there, and it probably fits in that hole pretty good. So you can see how close that one came to coming through. Kind of interesting. Here's another round I shot a little bit earlier. It actually went through a weak spot where there had already been other impacts. At first I couldn't find it in the gel, but I just saw it and it actually entered the top block just probably about an inch or half an inch above where the two blocks meet. And then it came down and it embedded right here, just about half an inch before the back of this block. And uh, there it is, right there. So there's your gel penetrations, oops, after going through mild steel.